Hi, uh, during this video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through the entire process of uh, creating and launching your first event. So you're going to notice here when you uh, log into your event, you're going to notice that this side in this part is actually blank. Uh, what this does is this actually is a heat map to show you when people are registering and when people are attending your events and when is the most popular time when people are actually attending and signing up for your events to give you to improve your events for the future. So that from here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on create event and so when we click on create event we have an option to host a live event, host a uh, recorded event, a series where we have we host an event at the same time every single week, uh, but we only want people to sign up once. And then we have a uh, meeting function as well. And so for any of these events, it actually requires no download to attend uh, or host uh, any of these events. Uh, because a meeting is just a two-step process, what we're going to do is uh, click on uh, host a live event, and this will actually take you through the exact same process uh, as these other two. So we'll click on uh, live event and say this is a uh, live event uh, test two. And so when you're, what you're going to notice here is as I'm creating my title, the event URL is automatically uh, updating here. And so if you ever want to change this, you can absolutely do that if you'd like. Uh, from here, what you're going to do is then choose the time zone of, of your event. Uh, and so even though uh, this is just for a, a time for the system to know where it should be based off of but if because i'm in central time zone which is in i'm in chicago which is central time zone if someone were to see this page and they were in australia or they were in new york they would actually get different times uh so, and it would actually localize to their time zone so it doesn't they don't have to do the math of central versus what their time zone is. So then once you uh, click next, what we're going to be doing here is choosing the registration page template. Uh, so that URL that was created on the uh, second step here, so we're on step three already. So on the second step was this, that URL was actually uh, for this page. And so here, what we're going to do is add the uh, headline. And so that, that's the headline that's going to go here. If we wanted to click on our logo, this logo would automatically update right here. And then we would click on Next. So after Next, uh, we would click on uh, Finish. But if we wanted to see what this page looked like, we would just click on uh, this, copy it, and then open up a new tab. So once we click Finish, we're going to get all of our stats here, which is all zero because we just created this event of how many people uh, visited and signed up, attended, and things like that. And then in here, if we ever want to change anything, so if we want to change the general settings of the URL, the uh, title, the time zone of the event. If we want to charge people for this event, you'll notice when I click paid, there's a paid option that shows up right here. The type of event it's going to be or the time, that would all be done in general. We have email campaigns for people who have signed up uh, reminders, uh, follow-up emails, did not attend and early abandon. So we actually have templated emails ready to go for, e for each one here, and it will include all the relevant information and it's totally customizable. You can add multiple emails if you'd like here, um, and that, but and you can add, add or have as little as you want on that side. As far as custom integrations, if you ever need to do like a, a marketing automation, a CRM, a Zapier, uh, text messaging, any any sort of automation tracking, that is all done directly in here. Uh, the registration page, where if you want to update the logo, headline, subheadline, the registration page video, you want to give some speaker information that can all be done right here. Uh, you can have the different fields. So if you wanted to have like a phone number, uh, first name, last name, email address, that it can all be done here. And then of course you have a GDPR consent uh, box as well. So from there, uh, then you have a already templated thank you page that is ready to go. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, and then in here, so we have the webinar room. So this uh, chat style, if it's global chat, it means anytime anyone who is in the event sends a message, everyone's going to see it. Moderated chat is anytime someone sends an event, uh, sends a message, uh, the organizers uh, or the host would have to approve that for everyone else to see. 
for people who have watched the whole thing and completed it, then you could have a call to action for those people. You could have call to actions for people who showed up later, missed the event. And then uh, if you want to ever add custom branding or logo uh, to your event room, you can you can do that as well. If you ever wanted to have a replay option, so uh, if you wanted to have a replay for everyone after the event is over and redirect them there, you can just choose the video that is already uh available in the media section and then you would just choose your video from there if you wanted to add a uh, replay or a, a call to action at the end of the replay you can do that here as well to add uh, other presenters if you want to have a co-presenter or an organizer you'd enter in this information and then our system would actually automatically email them their uh, link their host link for that event uh, that link would uh, always be the same no matter what changes are made on the system here as far as a paid event uh, so if you're going to charge people for your event you can uh, upload the logo add the product name description uh, the product price uh, and so all of that good stuff here and then if you haven't yet linked it to a uh, payment processor what we can do is just have a simple way to actually link it up directly with paypal where you can enable that and then paypal will give you the secret and the client id uh, codes so that you can automatically collect payment uh, using the system so that is uh, the 101 of getting your event up up and ready and created and so the next process would actually be hosting the event when you click in here uh, and you're ready to start the event and so all i did here is i clicked on open event room it brought me to this tab and i'm ready to do my video broadcast it will verify all my information is valid and i am ready to actually host the event um, and then in the event itself what i can do is i can do video broadcast i can do uh, screen share so there's there's a lot of cool things that i'm actually able to do uh, um, directly in here if I wanted to do uh, ga gallery view and share my video broadcast and my screen at the same time if I wanted to uh, do a recording I can I can click on record and now that I clicked record everything that I record will be available in the media section uh, and then from there we have participants where we can do a uh, chat uh, participants uh, poll and offer and then from here, I can click on tools where we can click on uh, create poll, uh, share offer, you know, share a recorded video. If you want to stream to Facebook Live, uh, RTMP will allow you to do uh, with platforms such as um, YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and there should be like other like Restream.io and other platforms like that as well. So that is, you know, the, the process of actually going in here, hosting the event. Uh, managing the room itself, inviting other people into this, uh, in into your event. And so that should give you everything that you need to get up and running and started and uh, hosting successful events uh, with your new solution. Well, thank you very much uh, for watching this. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website uh, or reach out to support and we'll be more than happy to help. Have a great one.